Hello everyone. So this is going to be the first tutorial that I do. I'm actually working on spinning up a bunch of flatters in-house at Third World Studios. And so I thought you know, this would be a great opportunity to create a tutorial on some of the steps at least that we take uh, when we go about doing some of the um, flatting for our work. So the first tutorial is going to actually be on separating the line art. It's going to be a pretty quick one. Um, I'm actually working on the comic Giant by Chris Wharton. This is a color key, which I'll get into in a later tutorial. But for now, what I'm trying to show you is how you would go about separating the line art from the background. So right now what we see is we actually have the line art and it's all flat. So you see the white and the black all on the same line. And so one of the first things that we want to do is take and make sure that the black is on its own layer and the whites are on its own layer as well. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten this image down. So there's two different ways to do that. You can right click on the upper layer, hit flatten image, or you can hit control E, which is going to just uh, merge the layer down. Now currently it's set to grayscale. Um, what we're going to do, I actually work in RGB. I know again, a lot of purists tend to work in CMYK, but I just like the flexibility of RGB a little bit better. Um, so we're going to actually jump over and as long as you're careful when you're coming with RGB, you're good. But for the purpose of this, it doesn't really matter. So switch it to RGB, and we now shouldn't see any difference. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit Control A, which selects the entire image, and then hit Control C, which is gonna copy that entire image. And then over here, um, we're gonna click on the channels palette. And you're gonna see the RGB ch channel, which is all of them combined, red, green, and blue, and we're gonna create an alpha channel. To do that, create a new layer. And so now we have our alpha layer. And what we're gonna do is paste the artwork that we copied from the layers palette into here, layers channel row. Uh, and so to do that, you hit control V, and now we have our line art in on here. So next thing we're gonna do, hold down the control button on your keyboard and click on this layer. And you'll see that when I hold um, control, that a little bounding box appears next to the hand on the actual layer palette over here. So you're gonna click, and now what that actually is going to do is select all of the white of the image. So jump back over to my layers palette, create a new layer. And the problem with that is that I, what I really want to do is recreate the black, not the white. So what I have to do is invert my selection. There's two ways to do that. I can hit Control Shift I, which is now going to have me select only the black. Or I can go to select up here and hit inverse. But all that does is the exact same. So, and then from there, I'm going to hit D on my keyboard, which sets me to the default, or you can click on this little thing right here. So for example, if this was one color, and let's just say this was, you know, green. Uh, if I hit D, it's gonna default back to black and white. And you can hit X to switch what's in the foreground and what's in the background if you wanted, but that's just a little bit of shortcut. So the next thing I do is actually fill. To fill, what you can do is hold, hit Alt, hold Alt, and hit Backspace. And now it's going to fill uh, with a foreground color. If you were to hold Control and hit Backspace, it full, fills with the foreground color. So as you can see now, if I turn off the background layer, we now have our line art separated from the background pretty cleanly. Um, and so then all we have to do now, select the background layer, Control Backspace to fill it with white, and now we have our line art separated. So one thing that I will do when, you're, when I'm prepping my files and I'm always careful to do is I will select the line art layer and there's this lock feature. This is lock transparency, which I always use. Um, so you just click lock transparency and now no matter what I do to this layer, if I was to paint or try to paint or whatever, it will actually uh, make sure that it adheres to it. That's actually really good for doing color holds as well, but we can get into that in another tutorial. So that's it for separating the line art. Um, this is the first step that you want to take. And, um, you know, from there, we're going to move into how, at least, again, we go about flatting. Keep in mind, there's tons and tons of ways to do it. It's just how we work. Thanks.